All right, guys, welcome back to another New World Iron Man uh, series. I think this is 27. And basically, we are starting off this episode with a lot of preparation uh, to continue progressing our PvP track. We start off uh, with, you know, heading out to Great Cleave and leveling our Great Axe. I think I was uh, 17 or 18. I don't recall exactly. Uh, but as you saw there at the beginning, I did uh, pop one of our XP boosters that we got from the season one reward track. Um, but sure enough, yeah, we started getting uh, levels there. And uh, I eventually realized that we could gain levels faster or weapon mastery faster if we were in a group. So I started making a group and we hit 20 like in no time there. And I figured, well, since we already leveled one weapon, might as well level another. And if you look at the time, it's 1740 by the timer on the top left. And we got our rapier from 13 all the way to 20 in about one hour. We end up getting 20 around 1843. So if you need to level or gain mastery in a weapon, join a group, pop a booster, get out here, you'll get it done rinky tink. So when you guys ask me in a comment, well, why don't I use food? And the simple answer is I just forgot. So along with leveling our weapons, I also went out to First Light uh, to gather up some nutmeg so we can make some carrot cake. An interesting little side note here. I saw on Reddit that, you know, obviously with First Light now being uh, off limits, where are we going to get nutmeg from? So I'm thinking that we may have to look on nwdb.info to find out where we can get some more nutmeg uh, so we can continue to make carrot cake. Anyways, as I was saying, so I headed back to town and I was about to craft up the carrot cake. And then I realized, wait a minute, I have some cooking trophies that I need to put up. So... I teleported back to Brimstone Sands and I put up my uh, cooking trophy. I only have the minor ones. I also went over to Reek Water, did the same thing. And then I came back, crafted up my carrot cake. So we're ready to go now. All right, so here we go, another OPR. I did take some time to go and uh, craft some food because someone uh, mentioned to me why I didn't craft any food, why I don't use food. That's because I forgot. Um, also, so that puts us at 201 and 300 which is actually really nice to be at because now we get an additional 10 percent damage on stunned and slowed pretty much anyone cc'd so we'll see how we do looks like we're already getting back markered or, or not back markered uh back capped i also did take the time to get our great axe uh to 20 our warhammer no warhammer was already there uh wrap here to 20 and i'm now working on the uh bow so we'll see what we do right, let's see if we can help out with this guy right here leaping strike into a bunch of light attacks that was good enough right there. I actually didn't even catch how hard that hit. So super excited to try this uh, build with the with this sword. Oh boy. Oh wow. Okay, okay. Let's get this uh, Defender's Resolve. Get a couple of light strikes on that 904. Not bad for a light attack there. Looks like we got somebody chasing here. Let's get this guy right here. Look, he's not even paying attention. Oh, he was, sort of. Oof, burned right through us. Switching weapons has always been a little bit difficult for me. Let's see if we can get that done a little bit better. Looks like we're back capped, so we might have to head back shortly. Oh, boy. Oh, we're in a 1v1 situation. Oh, okay. No, this guy's coming up to help us out. Let's see if we can get him here. I'm going to try and get the sleeping strike on him. Need to just get a little bit closer. Oh. There we go. There we go. Had a little bit of help there. Leaping strike into a couple of uh, light attacks. Man, light attacks are killer with the sword, though. All right. Let's go. Let's go fight because we need... We actually need points. If not, it's going to be for nothing. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, we got killed. Just came out to a freaking swarm of them. Oh, you know what? We also have uh, two OPR crates we haven't opened yet. Yeah, look at that. This guy pulled himself out of position. There we go. Oh, that was a nice... I forgot what that is even called, but that great axe rush. So good. Ooh, nice backstab. Oh, 
all this guy. Oh, we need heals. We need heals. Back out. Nice heals. This guy right here. Shield bash. Miss them all. Light strikes. Light strikes. We're in the clump. Shield bash, we missed. Get around them on the other side. Let's go for some guys back here. Oh, we're getting some good hits on this guy right here. Oh my gosh. Back out, back out a little bit. We stand ourselves on that one. All right, back in. Let's go. Let's see if we can get somebody in the background here. Oh, you. Nice whirlwind. It got so chaotic in the clumps, though. Oh gosh, he got so lucky. We had we had to climb there. Alright, let's get on let's get on moon here. Oh, are you being cheeky over here? Let's see if we can get this dude. Nope, nope, we're gonna get out of the position, so we're gonna back out. Oh look at this. That was a whole bunch of them. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get freaking knocked out. Let's get out of here. Shield up, shield up. Defenders resolve. Jump in. We're getting good heals, though. Oof. We got stunned. We gotta get out of here. All right, back in, back in. Let's go. Leaping strike. Do we hit anyone? Nope. Oh, gosh, dang it. Got one there. And we got Baron too. What? You know what? We're going to try and... We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Oh, we got good heals. Good heals. Good heals. This guy's going after a healer. We got to get him. I'll slow him down here. We're going to do a retreat. Whew. Man, we're kind of stuck out here. That's all right. That was a good run. We got 2,000 points in that run, though. 15 assists and two player kills. All right, now there is one thing I do like to do is pull people down here. Oh, my gosh. I pull. I, oh, shoot. That's a lot of them. You get out of there. Now, I'm just going to jump in here with a voiceover because I did just say I was going to get out of there. And then I just ran back in. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. 
Uh, obviously, I did sort of pay the price here, and I end up getting taken out <laughs> right away. Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy helped us out with him. This is a really nice clump we got going here. A couple of healers, a bunch of uh, DPS or melee DPS and range DPS. All right, that's done. We actually got the victory, which is really good. I think we're 35th overall, something like that. Let's take a look. 30th overall, let's see uh, on our team. 15th, this is a pretty strong team, so I'm not too angry at that. All right, let's get re here. Oh, we got our third uh, PvP track, but we're going to re just so we can get back in. Refreshing penetrating shot on this idolater's cowl of the ranger. We already have a bowman's pride. Exhilarating conscript's longsword of the soldier. I'm kind of happy with what we got, even though this does fractured rend. But we don't really block break too many people with the sword. So I think we'll take this one just so we can have it in the in the back pocket for a bow build. The idolater's cowl. And we completed our 10th PvP track. All right, guys, here we go. Starting a new OPR. What's good is that we still have a lot of time on our current food buffs. And it looks like we're here early. No one has popped through just yet. All right, all right. This guy's coming at me. Trying to weaken me. Okay, I'm just going to hit you. Oof, oof, oof. Nope, no support. All right, we have some semblance of a uh, strat going on now. So we're, we got moon, we got star. I think the key here is definitely we got to pull mid. That was a decent whirlwind. There we go, there we go. We got their tank. Now, oh my god, what hit us there? <laughs> we pulled them down. We're actually able to pull them down. Get them with these light attacks. Stun them. Light attacks again. Oh, he got away from us. Or did he? Nope, did not get away from us. We had help there, though. All right, let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. We, we should not be fighting out here. Get this. We got to get out of here. Oh, my gosh. All right, we switched out to the Warhammer just so that we can play on point a little bit more. Got one. Heal up. Get out of here. We need heals. We need heals. Oh, no, we got sucked into a freaking... Get out of here. You know what? We both got Warhammers. There you go. Boom. Heavy. Smash you in the face. We need... Oh, boy. Oh, I needed a heal there. All right, go back in. Oh, man, we're getting demolished. We're getting demolished. We need a heal. We need a heal. Oh, I kind of like the way the... The Great Axe plays a little bit better than the Warhammer. Warhammer is like really in the clump. Great Axe gives you good chase ability, but the Warhammer just really excels in the clump though. Oh, look at this dude. So we can get a hit on him. We did. Oh, see, that's where the Great Axe would have been super, super good there. We can get this. We can get this. Yes. Nobody to steal it. Nobody to steal it. Oh, they might steal it. Oh my God. Bro, every time. I just don't get it. Oh, look at this. Clear everybody out. Clear everybody out. Get out of here. Oh, we have a, a heal circle right here. Yes. Stun everybody up. Get a couple clean hits. Light attack. Light attack. Light attack. Light attack. Light attack. There we go. Oof, oof. Oh. 
That was good heals, though. That was good heals. There we go. We broke broke his stamina. How did he gain back so much stamina? We should be fighting on point. That's no good, man. They got good heals. All right, so we ended up winning that one. Thank God. Decent damage, 254,000. 37th overall, and this was a good team. Okay, and we are going to take a little bit of time to open up the four outpost rush cash that we have. So let's go ahead and do that now. Focus rusher leather helm, not that good. Bad, rare rusher cloth boots. A kite shield conquerors bastion. Ruinous, refreshing, and keenly. Ugh. Next one up, Rusher Cloth Grease, Dexterity and Focus. Rusher Cloth Boots, Strength and Con, Freedom and Resilience, Light. Not bad. That one's not bad. We might upgrade that one. It's already at 600. Weird. And then Conqueror's Aim. I think we already had one keen, keenly empowered. So this might be worth upgrading as well. Next one up, a green uh, set of gloves, green cloth uh, chest guard, and a Conqueror's Roar musket. Last one up, Rusher Cloth Helm, light headwear, critical retribution and refreshing, not too bad. Rusher Cloth Greaves, light dex, freedom and shirking energy. That's really good. That's worth an upgrade. And a Conqueror's Domain with mortal fortification and trenchant crits. Uh -huh. All right, and I just upgraded these Rusher Cloth Greaves that we were talking about earlier that we just got out of the cache. And we got freedom as the third perk. So this now has freedom, shirking fort, and shirking energy. Whoa, what did I come into here? Oh my God, too many of them, too many of them. Oh gosh, we missed that leaping strike. Would have been so good. We got him, we got him. We're gonna die, but we got him. Nice, we got a good leaping strike on this guy. We got him, he's done. He didn't even expect us there. Look at this guy. What are you doing? Light attacks. Got him. No, he's still up. No, he's down. He's down. All right, let's get in here and help this dude. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the healer? There he is. There he is. Oh, gosh, we got caught up. And this healer had this dex player pretty much with him the entire time. Uh, oh, well. It's broccoli, and basically broccoli just ended up whooping our ass here. Let's see if we can help out over here. Where's the healer? There he is. I hate that the healer can freaking do this, man. We, we gotta bounce out we gotta bounce out and i think unfortunately here this is an example of sort of my inexperience in opr and pvp in general uh, i tried to dodge out of uh out of a cc there and uh, i pretty much just try to run away i have plenty of stamina which i didn't use oh <laughs> we got killed on the bleed and on the respawn we do finally join in the fight uh to get this dex player that was guarding the healer the entire time there we go. We finally freaking got him, man. It only took five of us. Again, some good hits on him. He's down. He's down. He's down. Man, some of these guys are, are just fantastic at dodging and... Oh, he's sitting in his own... There we go. Nice, nice. That was good. That was good. We got a lot of help there. Very good. Very good. I'm loving the great axe right now. This is this guy, Arthur Illery, is super good. 
That was a nice sleeping strike. Let's get this dude. Oh, we got stuns. Nasty. Stun them back. Light attacks. Flame fart. Stun this dude. Oh, he pulled a nasty one on us. Oh, nope. All right. You know what? We might have a chance here. Oh, we got to get out of there. All right. We're getting heals now. We're getting heals. Get these guys off the point. Light attack. Oh, man. Yes. That's one. Get him. He's stunned up. Nice. That was enough. Heels, heels, heels. Oh, we got burned, man. This turned to be a pretty close game, actually. It's already uh, 883 to 948. It's almost over. Unless our team pulls Baron out on this one. It might be over. I don't think anyone's act actively chasing Baron. That was a fun game, though. That was a fun game. I really enjoyed that. Even though it st didn't start off so good. We had a bunch of really good plays. Hey, our damage didn't get recorded, even though we're 27th. All right, we're already queued up for the next one. I think we may have just missed it. So let's go ahead and open up the cache from that one. Where'd it go? Here it is. Leather gauntlets uh, with vigor and resilient. A rusher leather chest guard with freedom and resilient. That might be worth upgrading. And a conqueror's will. Keen and empowering armor breaker. I do want to take another look at the Conqueror's Will. It's got 20 strength, 10 con, keen and empowering armor armor breaker. If armor breaker breaks a block, the next attack within five seconds deals 49% damage. I guess we can try it. Let's upgrade it. Let's see what it got. Third perk is now uh, Shirking Lightning. Not the best. Oh, and the game already started. So let's go ahead and just jump in. And I'm digging the Great Axe Conqueror's Domain with Insatiable gravi Gravity Will. I'm actually liking it now that it has the rogue 19% backstab. It's actually really good, especially for uh, when we use this. Uh, oops, there's a rock there. Especially for when we use that skill down here. What is it called? Yeah, the Great Axe Charge, especially when we use that. Really hits them very nice. Oh my gosh. Nope. All right. We missed that one. Get this guy. Oh, we hit so good now. Oh, we just missed it. All right. We got to dip. We got to dip. We got it. Oh boy. <laughs> We got outstands, man. There's nothing we can do against somebody with a freaking hatchet. Or is there? I don't know. And I do think we need to clean up the great axe a little bit as far as our weapon mastery goes. Uh, we're using charge, whirlwind, and insatiable gravi gravity well. But the other little passives here and there, I think we could use a little bit of help on. Let's, uh, let's go throw this guy on there. All right. So this is actually the beginning of a series of fights that we had with these two dudes. They were always together. It was a, uh, a great axe and a spear with support from a light staff and a sword and shield user and this light staff sword and shield healer oh my god he was so good at peeling off and healing himself and you'll see here we get him so close and then he'll just run away and heal up there we go we got some of this some additional help now stun them all there we go nice oh my god this guy was like one. We got their healer. We got their healer. He's using up all his man on himself. We're just going to keep doing this until he does something else. And watching this back, I do notice that I am only hitting him for like six, 700 oh. backstab damage. I think one of them was as low as 400. Now, obviously, I do run 300 cons, so I am expecting to not hit very hard. And what we do give up in damage, I do think we make up in damage over time just from being alive. <laughs> oh, he's cheeky. Oh, 
Oh my god. Alright, well, we got him to run away. We gotta get this dude. He's trying to pull us back. Alright, I'm not gonna chase him. Damn. So we're back to fighting the same two guys again back on the star point. And this time we have help from only Smash, which in the last episode was one of the Dex guys that was just whooping my ass. But we got him on this. We got him on our side in this one. So we start kind of doing some damage against the healer. He uses his stone form. We start to sort of make a little bit of headway. Only Smash gets caught out, stand himself and is unable to heal. Uh, and we end up losing him. But um, now down to a 2v1 here. I try to get away and we, they also chase me down. Uh, so now I'm trying to just kind of buy time and give time for the rest of my team to show up. My potions are still not up, so I'm just uh, still trying to buy time, get the potions going, trying to pull this guy off the heal point that the uh, healer keeps dropping. I charge out of there, but we end up getting killed anyway. And we come back in on the respawn and it's only the healer in here for now. So we jump in with a leaping strike, hit him with light attacks. He drops a sacred ground. We smash him in the face, hit him with more light attacks. This guy is just dodging us left and right though. We throw a whirlwind out there, nothing. It's kind of funny because when it's 1v1 with me and the healer, it's sort of a stalemate with uh, me having so much HP and him having that sort of sustainability that uh, the life staff gives you. And unfortunately for us, though, uh, it's no longer a 1v1. Now it's a 2v1 with his dex uh, sort of guardian coming in to help him out. Uh, but we also get our own dex guardian come in to help us out with the healer. We get him so low there and he just jumps into a sacred ground. Look at that. Unfortunately, they do focus up on our dex helper here and uh, we end up losing him. But, uh, you know, we do have a lot of HP. You know, and even though we're down to a 2v1 situation again, uh, you know, we stun them both with our shield smash. I go into turtle mode and just basically uh, try to block everything I can. Don't get stamped. Don't, uh, you know, just don't use my abilities and try to uh, buy as much time as I can for uh, help to arrive. And sure enough, help does arrive in the form of a fire staff. I almost said black mage there. Uh, and he does a great job of peeling them off of me. And we're able to get a couple good hits. We get them on the run. We get the, the life staff on the run. Um, and basically, again, we're back to just trying to take out this life staff sword and shield guy. Now, this is where I kind of think we have him on the run a little bit. We get additional help. Uh, from the Dex user. Dude, I've been fighting this guy for like five minutes and it's only Smash. So again, he's back. We're trying to bring this guy down and sure enough, you know, the green weenie, weenie no. gets us again. He's light staff and sword and shield. Oh my God, he's... Oh wow, we clipped through the freaking ladders. That's annoying. Okay, let's see if we can get him. There we go. There we go. Finally. All right. So that was uh, that was the end of it. It wasn't a bad game per se. It was actually a pretty good game. 5,000 points. Let's look at the ranking for us. Uh, where are we? 17th? No, 14th overall. All right. Let's open up the OPR cash. Final one of the night. Rusher plate helm. Freedom refreshing evasion. That might be worth uh, looking into. A uh, rare Rusher cloth helm. That's going to be garbage. And a Conqueror's Bastion kite shield. 
probably garbage as well. Let's look at this rusher plate helm. So it's got freedom, refreshing evasion. So let's upgrade it. Let's see what we get. And with the upgrade, we got shirking fort. Hmm. Freedom, shirking fort, and refreshing evasion. It's not bad. Throw an opal in there, but really, really, really need resilience. Okay. And I am actually kind of interested in putting together a light dex or light strength build. Uh, I know we're probably going to get destroyed, but it would be cool to see how hard we could actually hit. And I was able to put together. Oh, wow. We are hitting super hard. Yeah, so I was able to put together a light strength build here. So we have uh, this Tempest Guard Hood of the Sentry with the Resilient, another uh, Rusher Cloth Chest Guard with the Resilient as well. Everything has Resilient. I'll go over it in a little bit. We'll see how this works out. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the right way, the wrong way. And uh, we're not even gemmed yet. As soon as we start putting some opals or onyxes in here, man, this thing is gonna, it's gonna be a killer. Okay, I see their healer over here. We gotta bounce out, bounce out. Oh, we're not very good against magic right now. So we gotta definitely be careful with uh, with the fire staffs. I do feel a little bit low on con. I'm only 131 con. I do want this 150 bonus at dex for uh, 10 less uh, stam on dodge. Getting hit, we need to, oh my God. So we ended up winning it. I'm glad it was a very, very quick one. It just kind of proves the viability of the build a little bit. So very happy with it. I think this this match, we were only in here for like five minutes. We only scored 567. We got 38,000 damage and we killed a player and we got an assist. So honestly, it wasn't even that bad. All right, so what I'm thinking is if we put a bunch of opals in this thing, we will be super good to go. Um, so that's what I'm probably gonna do for the next video. You know what? We forgot to open the cache from that last one. Here it is. Let's do that real quick. Rusher leather helm at a medium, refreshing and resilient. We got a rusher's leather helm. Might end up using that. Uh, blue rusher cloth greaves, no good. And a uh, conqueror's will. So not too bad. Actually, no, this is not a great pull, but I'm very happy with this uh, setup that we have going here. I do feel a little little bit low on constitution i only have 130 with food i might switch over to only using con food 